bringing the people behind our food to life. Guess what? It's squash season. You know what the greatest thing about squash season is? It's not chicken. It's squash. And it's all the other vegetables that come along with squash during that season. What we're going to make today is a chilled squash soup. Thanks for joining us. It's perfect timing. Why? Because our onions right now are becoming translucent. We also have some, uh, a mixture of different types of carrots in there today as well. I have left the skin on my carrots because they are young carrots. We just washed them and cleaned them and chopped them up, up and threw them in the pan. It is almost about time to get our squash in. Today we're using patty pans, also known as scallop squash. We're just gonna cut the edges off there, cut them in half, chop them, rough cut them, is all we have to do. And get them into our pot. Back in the day, it used to be about technique. Then it was about, well, first of all, it was about survival. Then it was about technique. Then it was about chemistry. And now it's just about food, family, and friends. We're going to add some more squash that we cut just a little while ago. And we're not going to let that cook too long. We want to keep most of that squash in more of a raw consistency. We put a cup of chicken stock in. So the chicken stock has come to a boil. So we can shut off the heat and we can move it over to our, our blender. And we're going to lightly pour everything in. It's always handy to keep the towel on top. Very dangerous, especially when warm. We'll give it a little taste. We'll see if it needs any salt or pepper. Once again, we'll check the seasoning. Just about right. And we'll take that and we'll stick that in our, into our refrigerator and let that cool. Of course, you always want to remove the top and you don't want to keep the lid on when you're bringing up something from hot to cold. So our chilled squash soup is ready to be devoured. We're gonna add some croutons to the center of it from yesterday's crusty old bread. Finish it off with just a little nasturtium flour and a couple of calendula petals to show you that it is still summertime. And voila. Summer in a bowl. All right, another way to use squash or zucchini is to stuff it. Today we're gonna stuff this zucchini in an unconventional manner. We're not gonna make your standard boat. What we're gonna do is take our drill and drill right through it. So kids don't try this at home without adult supervision. Uh, what I do with this drill bit I make sure I get a new one and I make sure I sterilize it before I use it. So we'll 
cut our squash on the ends. We try to get basically the same size squash, so, uh, so they, they bake at the same time. Then we take our, we have our half inch bit in there and we're just gonna drill very slowly into our squash. Turn it around, do the same thing on the other side. And what we want to do is, is get the seeds out of the center as best as possible. So we'll move that around a little bit. And when you can see daylight, we know we've got gotten through the, uh, to the other side. And the same thing for the zucchini. I don't care what anyone says, but this is a lot more fun than a melon baller. So next, now that we have our squash ready to go, we're going to get our pan going. We're going to get our lamb started to fill our squash. What we did was put a little bit of olive oil in there. Next, I'm going to mandle in some garlic so it sort of melts right in there. And I always use one clove per squash per person at the table. Unlike my friend Scotty Garlic, who uses a bulb per person at the table. Once that heats up, we'll get our lamb in. We're using ground lamb with salt, a little pepper. I'm going to break this lamb up. I'm going to add a little shallots, finely cut shallots. A little bit of smoked paprika. We're not going to completely cook this lamb all the way through. At least right, not right now in the pan. We just want to get everything incorporated. It's, st it's still got medium to medium rare in there. We're going to shut our heat down. We're going to throw our chopped parsley in, our thyme, and our chives. Heat's turned off, and the lamb's finished, at least at this point, to, to stuff our squash. And what we want to do is just take our lamb and start stuffing our squash. Get a good idea of where you are if you take a Look inside the other side of the squash. And if you're having a little hard time, what I, use, what I do is I take the back of a wooden spoon to press it in. As long as I get through halfway on one side, I feel confident that I can get through the other half halfway. And we'll take that and we'll put it into our oven at 350 degrees. We'll drizzle it with just a little bit of olive oil. We won't, won't salt or, or pepper it. We'll bake that for 15 minutes. We'll turn the squash and we'll bake for another 10 minutes. Now that our zucchini are done, we're going to cut them up, make medallions and plate them.
how we finished our lamb stuffed zucchini medallions. On our plate, we put a couple uh, heirloom tomatoes. Salt and pepper, no Montier salt, um, or just salt and pepper. A little olive oil. You can use any kind of olive oil you'd like. You can use any kind of balsamic vinegar you'd like. And a little pecorino cheese to finish off the dish. This is truly a summertime dish that is very simple to make, quick to make, and your friends and family will enjoy it. The bounty of summer on one plate. Five apricots, five peaches, four nectarines. Great. So initially we, we were really motivated by saving money and going direct and getting the wholesale prices. As we were doing this, we were also learning and, and becoming more aware of you know, where the food comes from and what's really in the food and how it's packaged. And the more you learn, the more aware you become, the more selective you become also.